All right. I wasn't gonna do a vlog tonight. Hey, ready? But here I am. So, I mean, I, I said a lot last night, but I had to summarize the day's events on Sunday. Kind of a slow Sunday, but there are a lot of a lot of stuff going on at the same time. A little paradoxical. But <coughs> see, open it up with 9 a.m. Pacific time, noon Eastern, 6 p.m. Eastern time would be around 4 a.m. in Australia, around 11 p.m. in Sunday night in China, like three, two or three in Asia, or one or two p.m. in like Japan, a.m. in Japan and Korea. Anyway, we had the launch pad, launch pull announcement. So we had the launch pad. A lot of people thought the launch pad would be um, SWE, right? The Binance launch pad, but it was ADU last week. I think on early Saturday morning, Friday morning. No, early Saturday morning, I think. So then the eight days later, we get the launch pool. Why is the launch pool significant? Well, it's a little different, but people can stake their BNB and TUSD, which was a little different. Previously, you couldn't stake TUSD to earn rewards. For, hey, I forgot about that guy. Um... Hey, Ellie. Come on, guys. Barack. Come on, Barack. Hey, Ellie Bell. Hey, Ellie Bell. Come on. This way. So, yeah, previously you couldn't stake TUSD. So there was a single-sided TUSD staking and then the BNB staking. So obviously BNB pays higher rewards, right? Except... Um, you suffer impermanent loss. So if you stake your BNB and BNB price goes down 2% and you're making 2% or so, then um, you break even on the SWE that you make because BNB falls. So you can head short, you can do that. And the great part about this is it's only two days. Usually the launch pools are seven days, but I think because they did the EDU, and um, ED launch pad and SWE launch pool so close together, they could only do two days because mainnet is Wednesday on SWE. SWE is now going for like a dollar fifty OTC, crazy, right? Uh, one allocation around two thousand dollars, so that would be a dollar thirty actually. It's fifteen hundred tokens, um, or dollar forty. But no, I was right, dollar thirty five. Um, one second. I found out I was like craving this burrito. I'm like, do I get a breakfast burrito at the gas station? They make great burritos or pizza that pretzel nacho cheese pizza from Little Caesars. And I'm like, hey, I found this breakfast burrito and it was like a little legit burrito. And here, I don't know if you can see, there's like green salsa. So there was shrimp in here, but I already took out the shrimp. I tried to give the shrimp to the dogs, but they didn't, they didn't like it. Okay. Here's a shrimp. There's a shrimp there. No. It's a little spicy. It has green sauce on it. So they don't really want it. Is that beans? Looks like some beans in there. Some more salsa. Here you go. So, I'm not hungry anymore. I don't even know if I'll get the pizza. Sometimes I have a pizza though. Anyway, BNB price got driven up because sweet was so hyped. So the botters got in at like 324, 325, uh, $325 per BNB. They sold for like 1% half a percent runes ended up selling for like half three quarters of a percent on 765k and he made like forty three hundred dollars point six percentage um 
yeah, a lot of people made a small amount on that, but it's it's free money. I mean, you make a few thousand. But the thing is, the demand, because SWE was so hyped, demand for BNB got driven up. Unfortunately, I didn't grab my phone till 9.30, about half an hour later, so I missed it. I couldn't ape, and I had to think about it. SWE, launch pool, you need BNB, right? It's only two days. If I knew it was only two days, like so many things going on. SWE is launching in three days. Of course, the launch pool can only be a couple days. But I wasn't familiar with how the launch pools work because I'm not on Binance yet until I get my Palau ID and I have no idea how launch pools work, the launch pads. I just never done them. I don't think they ever did two day launch pools before, but they're doing it because Sweet's coming out on May 3rd. They want to give you the tokens right before it comes out. And the price is going up like crazy. Anyway, people were theorizing, Zoomer was ther hypothesizing that the BNB pool was going to be like 15% returns. He tried to charge me $10,000 to stake $100,000 in BNB. To send him $110,000, he would stake $100,000 and take 10% for just clicking a button. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, I offered to give him 5,000 though, but he, then he wanted 15 and I said, okay, for doing nothing except clicking a button, two buttons, no way. And in the end, I'm like, he showed me a chart saying it was going to peak at like 10% returns on your BNB. <laughs> and it ended up being, well, it was crazy at the end. It was like 5%. And then I refreshed, it was down to like one and a half percent. Someone dumped like 6 million BNB after the launch pool opened. So right now it's like 32 million SWE rewards for 8.2 million BNB. So we do the quick math, two and a half. Uh, SWE per BNB. Uh, if SWE if SWE is like two dollars on the high side, that's um, five dollars in SWE per three hundred dollars, which is one and a half percent, three hundred twenty-five or three hundred thirty, wherever three hundred thirty-three where BNB is now. So BNB got driven up all the way to three hundred thirty-nine on futures 340 on spot because um, there's so much stuff in here. Sunday is usually the biggest day. Easter is the biggest day actually, but I didn't come on Easter. Is this candy? Is this a candy corner? No, but look, this is pretty heavy. So I'll rip this open for the dog, see what we got here. This is actually the trash I found the burrito. In. This I'm not even gonna bother with. Oh, I might bother with it. Starbucks, I love Starbucks, let me see. I won't use, oh. Hmm. Caramel, that's good. Okay. So, if you bought at 325, if you had a bot that bought at 325, you could have made what? Something like 4%. Pretty good. Oh yeah, except it's fucking french fries and they're old. Uh, I don't really need fried fries. Unless there's a garlic sauce. There's a mayo with it. Yeah. If I was starving, this would be a lot better. What is it, chicken? Oh, shrimp. I don't know if they'll like the shrimp. Shrimp tail. No, he doesn't like it. It's weird, shrimp and fries? It's a weird dish. There are a lot of fries. This guy ate most of a shrimp. Hey, where do you want a shrimp tail? Ah, she ate it. The, the mayonnaise is pretty good. It's like a tartar, actually. I don't think they want fries. I'll just put them on the ground. Yes, 
Sorry for the diversion here. Probably won't be getting up this pizza. I left my shovel on the trail. So, um, a lot of freaking ways to trade. Volatility is what we want. Bots paid off if you got in early. You could have bought manually a couple minutes later at 328 too, 1%. So, um, a lot of ways to do it. Of course, I bought it 334 because it took me a while to figure it out. It's, it's, I thought about it too much. I should have bought it at first. Uh, I got to get my bot running. It's really a pain not having that bot, but it should be good to go in a little bit. And then spa, we got to talk about spa. Spa went... From uh, it, it grinded up, man. It was like eight and a half cents on Friday night, Saturday night. I don't know, maybe Saturday in the morning. And then it, it ended up uh, by Sunday afternoon, U.S. time, Sunday night in Europe. It ended up hitting uh, oh, Asia Monday morning, Australia. It ended up hitting uh, one point. One eight cents, so a nice little pump. Um, basically, two x from when Coinbase originally put it on the roadmap. I mean, my average buy it's like 80, uh, 8.85 cents, so I'm up, but it did retrace when Bitcoin dumped from 29.6, or actually, it, it hit. Did it wick to like 29.9? Yeah, Sunday morning, it did. So, a few hours ago, it wicked to 29.9. And then, of course, back to 28.4. That's the way I told you. Low volume. Not a lot of people left trading. It's just no one, no one wants to buy 30k BTC in a bear market. But it, um, yeah, it went up. It went down. You're going to see these large swings in Bitcoin. It's just the bear market. And then if Monday stocks, maybe futures opened red. I don't know. But if Monday stocks opened red, we're going to see another slip. Bitcoin could go down to 27.2k again to test the the jump FUD, Arkham FUD, DB FUD dump of uh, U.S. government selling Bitcoin, right? Which they didn't. So they're supposed to sell in the next 90 days, I think, from like April 1st. Between uh, April 1st and July 1st, they'll sell another 10,000 Bitcoin or 8,000 Bitcoin, something like that, of the 30,000 remaining. Um, so... Coinbase is definitely going to list SWE. It's just so hyped. If, Bina, if all the other exchanges are listing it, OKX, KuCoin, and Bybit, and Gates probably going to list it, even though they didn't have a any spotlight allocation for that. That means Coinbase is going to list. So SWE is their own mainnet, by the way. That means they, they're not using Ethereum or any other network. It's their special contracts. There's probably going to be an EVM, an Ethereum virtual machine, so you can trade it. Uh, with MetaMask, but for now, it's just going to be mainnet tokens, so withdraw from exchange, deposit, might be some ARBs depending on how long network transactions are delayed. Oh shoot, I forgot I was doing the vlog, I lost one of my pups. No, I didn't. He, the, he caught up with me. He was eating the french fries. Um... So, uh, um, should I continue? Yeah, I'll finish this off. So yeah, Coinbase should list SWE. They might announce on Tuesday and then list on Wednesday. Um, or they could announce on Wednesday. I think they'll announce on Tuesday. So that creates a sort of conflict. They might not list, announce anything for listing on Monday 
we, we're hoping spa list. We don't care about Maltese or um, what was the other one at 400 million? Osmo, we don't care about those. But we really want spa to list. It's still 16 million market cap or 15 million. And then, uh, so hopefully they announce on Monday because they're not gonna announce on Tuesday with spa because they don't want the spotlight to be taken away from spa because spa is gonna bring so much more volume. And it's estimated to open around 1 billion market cap circulating. That would be 20 billion fully diluted. Only half, 5% of the supply is gonna be available. It like, looked like Barack went behind this truck. But maybe I'm imagining it. He doesn't have his collar. Should have put it on him. Right? So, yeah, it wasn't Barack. It's Spa. So again, I like that it made a new high. That's good. That means the new low should be like nine cents or 0.9 cents that should be bought up if bitcoin dumps to 27k we might see eight cents but i don't think we'll see seven and a half cents or 7.7 .7 again is that you baraki it's a, a statue baraki why is he standing there like an eagle oh shit it was an owl Too bad it wasn't zoomed in half in, but at least you'll see the wings in the vlog. <laughs> I thought it was Barack. Just a little owl. It's weird that it would be sitting on the ground. Um, yeah, so that's Spa. I'm really hoping Spa gets two cents. Again, it has a lot deeper liquidity than Dymo. Dymo, 10% pump. I mean, five or $10,000 buy sent it 10,000. Uh, sent it 10%, so. Uh, with Spa, 10,000 buy only sent it 2%. So it's much more liquid, deeper liquidity, even though it's still uh, 15 million market cap. But uh, I'm hoping it does get to two cents if um, I mean, we, we have the 3X or 4X or 8X, depending if you, you count from the first announcement in Dymo, just because Polygon had very little liquidity in comparison to the KuCoin books for SPA. So again, uh, it's going to be really interesting. Plus, you didn't have to bridge on Polygon. So there was, there was a pump and then a dump and then a pump and a pump. So made for interesting dynamics, having to wait over an hour for that bridge, an hour and a half on Daimo, so Spa's gonna be interesting. And finally, hey, there you are, Baraki. I'll get to the goods. I thought you were the owl. Is that funny? Thought you were the little owl. Look, these people are hugging like worrying about nothing, their, their lives, and then there's all this nature. I almost zoomed in on it, but it's hard with this. I mean, pretty soon I, with the Neuralink, maybe I can say zoom in, zoom in, because it's attached to my brain and we'll zoom in. Oh, Pizza Hut. Now I'm craving pizza again, but. Nobody out pizzas the hut. We only walked around one and a half times. I don't know if I'm gonna do another walk. I do need to lose weight I'm in the hospital. They're off it for two or three days, off my foot. The top of my foot still hurts. I'll zoom in on that, but. It's gonna go away, swelling will go down. Oh, I have the bruise, I wanted to show you the bruise. Actually. Yeah, it's pretty big, pretty bad. This is like half the, half of it, it goes all the way to the, my ins the inside of my leg. Small bruise turned into two, two huge bruise. With the blood and thinners, little Caesars, here we go. But, just crust. Actually, chicken bones. Little bones. How about it, guys?
Hey, Rusty. They're pretty good, those chicken bones. Um, Peppy, I gotta talk about Peppy here. He waited to that. Uh, whales sold like 350 ETH of Peppy, around 670,000, 677,000 maybe. Dumped it from uh oh, 507 to 504, immediately got butt up. Where are you? Rocky. And then, um, so if you had a limit order, you can actually set limit orders on one inch, and I think Paraswap and other DEX aggregators um, on Ethereum, or any, any chain actually that supports Ethereum virtual machine. But, um, it immediately rebounded to like, Oh, oh, five or six. Sorry, Baraki, you were gone. But um, on exchange, it only dumped to like six. It didn't dump below six just because of rebound. So the exchange was slower to react, but you could have caught it. And uh, hey, Baraki, he go. He go. And um, you could have shorted on futures and made like 5,000 or something, maybe 10. I don't know about the slippage, just because it was so slow to react on futures and spot and it got bought up. It actually went higher, so it ended up going to 7.7 .7 when I saw it last a few hours later. So the dip is crazy. Pepe is at 325 million market cap. It's so strong just because would you rather buy Pepe or Bitcoin right now? <laughs> as a short-term investment peppy of course because you can do 2x overnight on peppy you can't do that on bitcoin unless you do like um 10x leverage and bitcoin goes up 10 percent. but you can get liquidated if it goes down 10 percent. if peppy drops 50 percent, right you only lose 50 percent of your money so uh the thought of being liquidated sort of makes these meme coins more attractive. Plus the meme coins can go do 10 or X or 20 X. We're not going to see that in Pepe. We might see it do maybe two or three X in a crazy day, but that's about it. The market cap so high, uh, smaller memes. I don't have an update on those. Bob sort of retraced, which is the Pepe imitator, but it could keep going. But Pepe is the blue chip. That's why it's keeping as long as meme coins keep pumping. Pepe will keep pumping. Anyway, I don't know where it stops. Um, hopefully, it can get to a billion market cap for people still in. Of course, I sold. I tried to front run. I sold at like 200 million market cap. It went higher. I missed out on a few K, but just small bets. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you to the comments like Jamie Foundation. Fun, fun, fun. And I'll see you guys later. See you guys in the next edition of the Crypto Vlog. Monday, big Monday. Bear markets. Let's see.